Hello, and welcome to the Tempozone Electronic Expansion Valve Tutorial. You will find the Corel EEV used in many different models of the Tempozone range due to its reliable and accurate operation, enhancing the efficiency of your Tempozone equipment. Corel EEV operation is controlled by both the UC8 and IUC printed circuit board, determined by a combined superheat calculation. Evaporator arrangements can include single evaporator systems, evaporator and inverter cool plate combination with independent valve control, as well as dual evaporator combinations, allowing for independent valve control when selected in dry mode. Although an electronic expansion valve looks similar in appearance to a common solenoid valve, the method of operation is very different. Normal solenoid operation energizes a coil that electromagnetically opens and closes a plunger. Operation can either be 100% open or 0% open. An EEV operates a motor instead of an electromagnetic coil. The pulsations of the motor windings turn the valve spindle up and down a thread, allowing for modulated control of the valve, referred to as valve steps, and displayed as a percentage open on the UC8 printed circuit board or Wi-Fi service utility tool. Like a solenoid coil, a valve motor should not be removed from its stem when the system is energized, as this can cause the motor to burn out. EEV failure is a rare occurrence, and an EEV operating incorrectly is usually caused by external circumstances. Before diagnosing valve failure, be sure to investigate the condition of the valve motor. Checking for signs of swelling and cracking in the outer casing and making sure to also inspect motor leads for damage. Check the correct orientation of electronic expansion valve one and two as per the wiring diagram by tracing the cables. Ensure that the EEV plugs are firm and secure. Check that the sensor probes are tight and secure to the pipework. Use a cable tie to ensure secure connection if at all in doubt. Check the discharge and suction sensors calibration compared to the UC8 display with the unit operating. Check the accuracy of transducers by comparing high and low side pressure readings to those read on the UC8 display. Power the UC8 card and place your hand on top of the EEV motor. During initial energizing, the valve calibrates spindle location by driving fully open and fully closed before returning to a resting position. During this initialization, the valve can be felt clicking and pulsing as the motor operates. If you're unable to feel the pulsing, it may indicate a failed valve motor or UCA. If no abnormalities are discovered after the initial inspection, further testing will be required. The next set of tests will require a multimeter with micro test probes and Corel EEV testing magnets. These magnets can be purchased from Corel directly or through your local refrigeration supplier. With the system isolated and valve motor removed, use the valve magnet to see if the valve spindle is stuck open or closed by twisting the valve magnet in a clockwise and anti-clockwise motion. When the valve spindle is either fully open or seized in position, the valve magnet will pull. Shuddering can be felt and heard from the magnet. Once it is determined that the valve spindle is not seized, electrical testing can begin on the valve motor. The valve motor is made of four windings, A, B, C, and D. The pairing of A and C are electrically isolated to the pairing of B and D. Remove the valve motor lead to conduct resistance testing at the plug pins. Resistance of individual windings should be equal All testing of a pair of windings should be double. As you can see in the test conducted in the windings A, B, C and D, all equal X ohms. Testing between the pairing of A and C windings shows a reading of double X. This is also true of the B and D windings. Test for a short circuit between motor windings A and C, motor windings B and D. There should be no circuit between these pairs of windings. 
If all tests have fallen within the expected range for a correct operating valve, the likely cause of valve failure is in the printed circuit board operating the valve. For further information to help your field diagnosis, be sure to download the latest version 8 of the TemperZone service training manual from TemperZone.com or ask for a hard copy at your local branch. Be sure to subscribe to the TemperZone YouTube channel for training and tutorial videos, product updates and much more. Thank you.